You know, each and every Saturday, right now through October, just down the street, they have the Depot Street Farmers Market happening right there in front of the federal courthouse here in downtown Greenville. And Mary Goldman is the president of the Depot Street Farmers Market. And you know, you all have amazing selections of those fresh, of fresh produce and, and fresh fruits and vegetables coming in. But you're here today to talk to us about jams and jellies and infused vinegars, that's some right. other options that are available at the farmers market. And a lot of, yeah, I sell, well, that's what I sell. Right. I have a little niche market. I there make jams and jellies that are not just for breakfast on biscuits. Yes, because a lot of us like it on toast or on biscuits in the morning. It's a quick breakfast. And people think that mm -hmm. when you think of jams and jellies, you think a little grape right. jelly or the strawberry. Right. Most of us making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Right. Out of it, so, but you've got some great ideas for how to use jellies and jams for in everyday cooking. Right. I cook yeah. with it because yeah. I have a tendency to get bored with the same food, so I okay. like to experiment. Well, let's start over here on this side, and you've got a couple of unique flavors of jelly. I right do. Here. Talk to us about this. I okay. Mean, so what I, I have? Hold this one up. This is lemon lavender jelly. Lemon lavender. And it is really good on like you could put it on brie or you could cook with it. I, that's what I tell people, I cook with it. What I did is I used Herbe de Provence, which right is a French uh, seasoning mix. Let me turn this around so we can get a shot of these. And you cook chicken in that. Yeah, okay. I put chicken, I saute the mm -hmm. chicken with some Herbe de Provence and salt and pepper. And then I finished it off with a little marsala and some lemon lavender. Look at that, that looks like a great dish right there. And of course, you got some chicken wings here and talk to us about the jam that you've got that in. This is Bloody Mary jam. Bloody Mary it jam. It tastes like a Bloody Mary. It really? Has, it's yeah. tomato, it's a tomato jam. People mm -hmm. think tomato jam, that's kind of weird. Right. But once you try it, it's like, it's really good. And does that's, it have all the spices and everything for yeah, it, it like has a Bloody a, Mary? Yeah, and it has a little, a tish of vodka in it. It's ah, got just horse a little radish. bit. Yeah, <laughs> it cooks out, it's okay. But let's talk about this. You got several different options here on the table right here. Yeah, like I have a, um, let, we'll start here. This is a pomegranate jelly. Now Ooh, look at that. Isn't that, that is a beautiful, beautiful it's color? like ruby red, yeah. And what I did was I put it, I made like a little crostini out of it. Uh -huh. I put it on some cream cheese. Ah. And um, Put it on a cracker. Yeah, and yeah. then I also did that with my sangria. Actually, got you those got mixed sangria up. jelly. A sangria tastes like a sangria. It's made really? with, it's a grape jelly. This is it. I'm going to get that out front so yeah. the camera can get it. It is made with red wine, lime, and orange, and it tastes like a sangria. And then oh, finished right. off with a tablespoon of brandy. Now, what have we got here? That is, oh, that's a strawberry balsamic, which okay. I have right here on cream cheese. It's a strawberry that, it's not your traditional um, strawberry jam. It, is finished off with a couple of tablespoons of balsamic and a little pepper. And what it does is it kicks the flavors up right. a notch. A little different than just the yeah, average strawberry been, jam. This is the first year I've made it and it's been a real popular one. All right. Well, see, right here we got red wine jelly. Yeah, that's, so that's again, that's a grape jelly made with red wine. And, okay. And then that's my tomato jam that, um, that our friends at Cope Farm. Yes. They put it on their meatloaf sandwiches. Oh, or right. you can put it on a biscuit. Because a lot of people, you know, put like a layer of ketchup on there, putting that tomato jam on there, give it a different Yeah, flavor. and then right. if you cook your um, meatloaf, you can put it on there. So I, I right. and this is a peach bellini. Peach yeah, bellini I, Yes, jam. the joke at the market is I do kit cook with my liquor cabinet, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and that's more that strawberry balsamic there. So many great ideas, and you also, we talked about jams and jellies, and I don't want you to get away without telling us about your infused vinegar. Well, this is now. This is a, this is some Hope Farms. Right. Becky and Steve can thank me later. <laughs> <laughs> Hope Farms, local farm here. Yeah, that's their tomatoes. And what I did is I infused uh, some balsamic vinegar with some date and cherry. Oh. You know, you can get infused vinegars at the mm. store. You smell that cherry in there really good. And it, but, yes. and, but you can make it yourself so easily. Right. And it is this time of year with the tomatoes in season. It is balsamic. It's great. Oh. You can maybe put a little hot pepper in it, spice it up. And just make it the way you want it. Yeah, oh. and so 
people don't have to go to the store to get everything. They can make things. All you got to do is let it. Or you can come down to the Depot Street Farmer's Market and you'll sell it to them. That's right. All right, Mary Goldman, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Appreciate so it. So many different options at the Depot Street Farmer's Market. Great fresh fruits and vegetable, vegetables. And come down to see Mary and enjoy some of these delicious jams, jellies, and infused vinegars. It's going on from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. every Saturday now through October.